Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. I pretty much started off like 90% of the episode saying ladies and gentlemen, which is weird because I don't think any ladies actually watch this, but let's, or gentlemen for that matter, so let's go in here because this is where we have to feed this baby the strawberry. And once that's done, we go in here for a new storybook as well as Willie, who's taking a sleep over there. And there's a bed right over here. There's, I think, Sake's in here. Or Sake. Or Saki, or whatever, so I think pretty sure it's Sake. But here we've got Beauty is Blind. Hmm. This is strange. Beauty is Blind. Brava, bravissima. A tidal wave of applause washed over Justine as roses rained down on the stage. It's a wonder they don't hit me, she thought bitterly. I'm the largest target for miles. After curtain down, she retired to her dressing room, set her horned Viking helmet aside, and waddled up to the mirror with a gelatinous jiggle. There was a knock at the door, and Henry Wallin appeared. Henry again. Cheers, Louise. You were magnificent, Miss Vangelo. Did you see? The papers are calling you the finest soprano of the 19th century. He looked at the floor and shifted his feet uncomfortably. Every man in town loves you. Stupid Henry, moaned Justine as she examined her profile in the mirror. No real man could love a fat twat like me. She tried adjusting her midriff. Disgusting. She waited for the sigh, but today Henry's response was different. There was a rustle, a metallic thunk. Good evening to you, my lady. She heard the clack of the door. Justine gazed wistfully at the tintype of beautiful Bella Margot, the slender soprano she idolized in her youth. What was Bella's secret, she wondered, as she picked away at a box of truffles on the table. What indeed? A few minutes later, Justine was bent over the wastebasket by the door, gagging and heaving. Eventually, she gave up and removed her finger from her throat. Then, at the bottom of the wastebasket, she saw the roses and the letter, and remembered the rustle and the thunk. She opened the letter and read aloud. You have won my heart, and that is no small feat. Oh, how sweet! <laughs> no small feat, she shouted in rage. A large feat, is that it? She crumpled up the note, threw it on the floor, and stopped on it for good measure. Something inside of her had snapped. From that moment forward, she was determined to never sing again. Her voice could go to hell, just as long as she could be beautiful. No one knows exactly what happened to Justine after that. Not the impresario who had begged her to come back. Not the reporters who had begged her to comment. Not Henry, who had been too crushed to face her again. Correct me if I'm wrong, G, but didn't Henry want to be crushed? Oh, I mean, come God. On. Chubby chaser, anyone? <laughs> Johnson, you said it. <laughs> when Justine's landlord finally let himself in, he was startled to discover a slim and beautiful woman in his tenant's armchair. She was naked, and her throat had been savaged. The blood had painted an inverse bouquet of roses on her chest. The woman held her own vocal cords in her hands. Oh, the end. Well now, so now we know Justine's backstory, and it's kind of depressing, but honestly, they could have done so much more with Justine. She's been taunting us, like, through the entire game with Paula, and it just seems kind of lame, especially her boss fight. I don't want to sound like, like, I don't know, spoiler or anything, and I don't want you guys to be, like, expecting anything great, because it's unusual, to say the least. And why can't I reload? It's not letting me reload. Um... Oh, right there. Did you guys see that? I used ammo, but I didn't have any. Okay, so this boss, uh, as I already probably spoiled in the last part. Wait a minute. What? It's you again. Oh, great. This guy's made ridiculously easy with this. So, as you can tell, we don't even have to lock onto him because he kind of moves a lot. But there you go. Already dead with our amazing teether. This guy just got raped up the ass. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now that that's done, that is the door we need for the eyeball. So, there's that. So now we can backtrack again, backtrack into the future, into the future, and keep on doing what we need. So, yeah, like I said, it's kind of a not very good, you know. I don't know, it just seems like they could have done so much more with Justine, but 
And her fight is quite possibly the creepiest of the entire game. You guys are going to see in a little bit. So you can't go back through this way. Just remember that. Um, once you jump off there, you can't do it again unless you reload the save from Willy. And over here, we actually do something a little bit interesting. And this is where I kind of wanted to end the episode, but then I remembered there was a storybook. So here, we got kind of a fight we're going to have to do here. A fight where, of course, he's going to take our fucking brain and do this shit with the amazing rendering settings. So we're going to go and do this. So he's going to sprout geyser darkness in this area. So you're going to want to keep that in mind because it's kind of irritating that some of the enemies will turn into darkness if they're in the way there. But it's not too bad. All we do here is just pretty much kill people. So I think we're going to use the T there for a little bit um, just to kind of break up the mundanity. So kill people with ease and uh you walked into it you asshole you asshole oh nice thanks for moving that <laughs> geyser of darkness don't go into it thank you all right but that doesn't seem like it's a very good weapon for up closeness which it isn't but uh we're just gonna kill some enemies i just want to kind of break up the mundanity of this like i said so all right so there you go so i'm just recording again from oh shit. Ooh, you didn't even hurt me your incompetence is similar to that of many comedians nowadays. Um, there's like very little funny people here, like in the world now. Like, I mean, I don't know. I can't think of anyone who's genuinely funny or who does it without being a dumbass. I mean, I don't know. There's certain kinds of humor for certain kinds of people, and it's just kind of I don't know. Some of the I don't know. One of my favorite. I wouldn't say favorite, but one of the ones that I could just not watch without, you know, not laughing is George Carlin. I think a lot of people can agree with me because he didn't have any of the stupid situational humor a lot of people have now. They have to make like gay jokes and racist jokes and shit like that. But um, I really enjoyed his his stuff. He talked a lot about real life things and it was just, it was, it was enjoyable and like Conan and shit like that. So now that that's done, are you guys ready for this? We got the brain, we got the door. Let's go through this shit, man. You're probably gonna want your, maybe your teether or your hot boner equipped for this next part. Not the shotgun, believe me. Oh, so during that story, I actually went and grabbed something really fast from the other room and then grabbed a drink. So I apologize for not really commentating, even though there's nothing really to commentate about there. So what the? <gasps> Is this the part where I speak now instead of holding my peace? <laughs> Hold on. It's really you, isn't it? <sighs> you came for me. I'm so happy. So happy. You've only been here for like 20 episodes, babe. God, I wish I could have a boner like Johnson. Watch out, Garcia. I always thought it was weird when animated things made out. It just looks so unreal. And wait, what? What? <laughs> there he is doing the, well, not really doing the eye thing, but, oh. Uh-oh. So it looks like there's Paula. I mean, Paula. So I actually made out with Justine. <laughs> and then, yeah, Johnson actually does something awesome. He punches her in the boob. As you can tell, we only need uh, one more upgrade until we're done here. Wait, dude, was that the last upgrade? I think we're... That is the last upgrade. Weird, I think we were too busy dying in the darkness to worry. So now that that's done, we've got demon pubes. This one you're probably gonna wanna also equip your uh, stuff with, so. Your absinthe, if you don't do this correctly. Which is why you want the hot boner out. And wait, you can't walk through that, babe. No, don't do it. Don't, don't, what the, wait, why can, oh, she's not even walking through yet. So it's going to turn into darkness. They're going to need to shoot four of the things over in this area. You need to shoot the things first. All right, there's that. We're, we're probably going to die here. Um, I'm not sure if these are randomized, but um, at least there's no other enemies here. So even if we do take a bit too much damage, we'll be able to restore it pretty fairly fast. I think I might actually... Nah, I don't... All right, let's drink something. All right. And there's... Well, did we already? Oh, there's four. I don't know. I was looking for a fifth one. It seemed like there was more. So once that's done, go through here and what? We'll bam! To the light. And ladies and gentlemen, we have completed Act Four, Chapter Five. And in a strange turn of events, wait, there's a sixth chapter in this. Justine for all. 
Moe, that's that's not a blatant ripoff of a band that hates Napster if I ever saw it myself. Oh. And with that, we are at our final paper level, and this level is creepy as all hell. This boss, god damn. I can't even express enough how much it creeps me out. But anyway, this level is not that hard at all, and I'm, I'm going to keep it in this video simply because it's kind of short, and at the end of it, spoilers, we're going to be at Fleming's Castle, which is pretty cool. So I think this level actually goes a little bit faster, so there's Justin kind of taunting us. And god, I just, I love the art direction of this. It's like paper mache, and it's cool. So there, she's flipping us off, she's giving us the bird. So, for some reason, then turn into darkness, but... Here we've got this again, all this stuff. This area can be a little bit tough, but it's not like too morbidly difficult. Come on, move, please. I ignore you, just grab all this. And I think if she touches you, you take some damage, um, but she probably won't touch you that many times. Oh, and uh, da, 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 da. So there's her now doing her thing where she's being the checkpoint. All right, so it's kind of hard to die. There are some places where you can get caught really easily. But don't worry about it too much. So in this next part right here, in the clouds, as long as you generally stay towards the top, you should be good. And if Justine touches you, I think you do take damage. I'm not willing to find out, though, because I don't want it to turn into one of those Paula situations where if you touch her, then uh, you die. <laughs> but it was only when she was the deranged Paula where she was going crazy, and it sucked being her, so... All right, so we're gonna continue on here, kill this jerk. And uh, you can get stuck in these areas. Most of the areas where we can go to, you won't like get stuck. So like if you took a wrong turn, um, you wouldn't get stuck unless it's like obvious, like right there where there's gems not leading you into the correct direction. But we wanna grab that one, please. The detection for grabbing gems sometimes is really wonky as well. So keep that in consideration when going through this area. I think it's a little annoying, so. So down there, if you were down there, you'd get kind of screwed over. So that's why you kind of want to chill up top here and then go down here, please. Oh, shit. 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 Okay. I'll meet you guys back at that point. I got stuck and my character wasn't shooting. One, uh, one second. All right, you guys. Here we are <clears throat> back. Um, This is where I died. There. See? And then right here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. Okay. There. Thank God. And we can go down here for some help. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Thank you. See, the game is really awkward when it comes to doing that kind of shit. There's 20 for the second checkpoint. Um, so we're going to get a bit more. This one's going to be a little bit tricky to do. It's better just to go back as soon as you can instead of going forward. Now here, you have a kind of a choose-your-own-path. If you take the top one, you'll get this gun. You'll get the invincible gun. If you go the bottom one, then you'll get the red explosion one. So keep that in mind that you can actually choose what gun there, but you can't get both. It'd be kind of pointless anyway because you just get the second one you grabbed anyway because the first one will get overwritten. But there's another one because it's going to run out. And it alternates, so keep that in mind. So there's this and there. So you'll at least get a chance for both guns at least. So um, It's kind of cool they let you do that. But if you didn't know, then you probably wouldn't have noticed. So And then here we have again. Whoa, not what I wanted to do. Why were they coming from behind me? It sucks you can't shoot like behind you. Like in all games where you can like do this, it seems like... <laughs> It'd be kind of poor design not to be able to shoot backwards, but... Alright, oh, there they are again. Alright, up here we're gonna kill you. Alright, there we go. 28, and with that... Oh, we got a drink as it materialized. We're just that bird of yours. Alright, so here we've got 30 now. We just need two more, and then we've got all of them, except for the heart at the end, which we'll still have to get, but... Yes, and spoilers, there is a heart. Or did we miss one? Did we miss two? Uh-oh. Oh, yep, no, we didn't. One's gonna be down here, I'm guessing. Oh, I got a gun here before it materialized. That's just how badass we are. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I was in the middle of that. Like, oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, never mind. Wait a minute. There, There isn't a heart at the end of this. What am I talking about? There's 18. Whatever. So this is obviously the longest level of the bunch, but we'll get a couple here. All right, so here. Oh, shit. It's annoying. These enemies are annoying. Quit. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. I missed one. I missed one. Oh, never mind. I got it. Got it. All right. Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll forget the health. We don't need it right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Good. 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 So there's Paula. Woo. That was close, you guys. I think we're going to die here again pretty soon. I'm not doing very good at this right now. My 
hands are like really weird, like my elbows are resting on my ribs, which sounds kind of weird. I mean, I don't know if you guys even know, maybe, maybe not. Not like my ribs, but like my hip is what I meant to say. I don't know why I said ribs, probably because they're both three letter words and I was just derping the herp. <sighs> because it's like 3.30 in the morning right now, so. Anyway, now that that's done, change of music. And God, I should not be playing this this late. We have got a boss, Paula. And her main method of attacks are going to be shooting those uh, green things at us. You can shoot them to protect yourself like that. And what we're supposed to do is just shoot her, I guess, gas mask or whatever. But this kind of takes a while. It's really mundane. and um, I don't know. It's just we don't get uh, weapon upgrades. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> so we just need to destroy each of those red thoughts. So, yes. Hit detection, please do not suck. God, after this one, I'm going to... I think I'm actually going to finish the game in this recording. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I'm really excited to start Let's Play number 10 pretty soon here. So, I don't know. I'm just ready for a change of something. So, when it turns yellow, use your light shot on her. Um, oh, shit. Oh, oh, how, by all means, that should have hit me, but it didn't. And I'm not complaining. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to start doing something new. Um, it's going to be probably child-friendly, so I might have to change my style a bit even though I didn't do that for Majora's mask all that much I didn't change it but you can tell the green inside of her mask how much health she has for this portion but yeah it's gonna be probably child friendly I might do it co-op with my brother I'm not sure yet because he expressed interest in doing some co-commentary with me but I don't know because I don't know it's weird nobody really knows who he is <laughs> but we'll see because all right so there's Justine and god look at that it's so creepy you guys I'm glad the music is kind of cool for this part, but it's still really creepy. So, oh shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? All right, if I die, I'll just get back up to this point. But just keep shooting her, and that's all you have to do for this entire area. Is just oh sweet health. I don't know if I can. I can't reach it yet. Shit. Oh, all right. So here she's gonna do this part where she's gonna grab you, and you just basically shoot at her. And if anything's gonna fall on you, you just <laughs> you just, oh god, you just shoot it before it comes to you. Come on, there you go, thank you. Please let go. And once we do enough damage, um, shit. Okay, thank you. Oh. Okay, we're not, at oh, what? Oh, I guess that does do a little damage. All right, one moment, I'll get back up to that point in just a minute. All right, there we go, you guys. Finally did that. Actually, it didn't take that long at all. I think, like I said, commentating at the same time as playing. Sometimes I consider doing like a post-commentary kind of project and see if I could how that felt but here she grabbed us a lot sooner than she did last time and I think what she did when she was swinging us up and down like a child we were just we got in the way of one of those things off screen which is why I died otherwise I don't think she does damage other than swinging us around and making our mobility greatly hindered so I apologize for that little blip I've died more on like this this one level this one chapter and then I have the rest of the game so like right there I was off screen and I just got hit and then she'll let us go eventually I haven't taken any damage yet but um, things will show up when we need them too so that's pretty good um, which is why there isn't any help here right now but here she's singing and see it's so creepy and yeah I guess that does do a little damage so we're screwed from the start anyway but maybe she would have uh, thrown us into the drink so who knows all right, so yeah, this is such a creepy part, you guys. I'm just gonna keep talking. I was that first part when I was killing her with the the light shot and stuff like that. That was kind of hard. I was almost thinking about just commentating from that because it's really creepy to just because I can still faintly hear the TV, but it's just so creepy. Just look at her movements. Just look at her arms and how like what is that even called? It's not paper mache. It's like you know how they're connected by those I guess plastic things at her joints. It's just so creepy, like. I find that it's like more scary, and not like in a scary sense, but just more like freaky for me to see like this creepy ass like dummy shit than you know all the blood and gore that I've been playing at four o'clock in the morning for. Because it is almost time for another four a.m. recording session with Ellison Cruz. So now that that's done, we can grab this gun and what death? Uh, I hate this one because you have to sh shoot her in the face. I don't think there's any indication to show where her health is because I haven't seen any. So. Um, yeah, eat it, eat it. Oh, we killed her! Thank God, and she's gonna cry. Or, okay. I guess, uh-oh. <laughs> yes, go rip out your vocal cords some more, you stupid whore. And then she dies like that, which is creepy. Okay, oh, great. Now that that's done, I don't think, okay, cool. We get, yep, yep, perfect. This is how we end this off. 
with the bang and a boom and a bong. Nice. All right. Yes, all 50. So this is the last of those levels as well as, uh-oh, a naked Justine. <laughs> <laughs> nice hey, so with that you guys I'm banging we got our final blue gem of the entire game our final blue gem aren't you guys excited and wait what the hell there were stars what is there's no more heroes and with that we got the skull blaster I can't be very loud but the Johnson 9000 is the skull blaster so you can this is actually very anticlimactic. You can now shoot a massive rolling bomb and destroy everything that comes in your way. So it's actually kind of cool, but it's not very good to use. So, well, I'll show that off later. So we're done with this episode pretty much. So, God, I'm th thank God that that creepy ass part is over. We fought three, no, two bosses in this part. Oh, wow. We died like three, twice. Justine, for all you are done. And with that, you guys, we are finally, finally done with Act 4. Now we're on Act 5. 12 feet under. Very nice. So we're starting off underground for the time being, but we're about to make our way to the top of the Castle of Hassel. Very nice. You guys, we are making some good-ass time here. Ugh. Oh, it's 3.33 in the morning. 3.33. I, I ain't even joshing you, man. So launching fireworks with the fireworks launcher will remove the darkness, but only for a short time. Thank you. Ah, oh, so with that, you guys, ooh. I guess our health kind of carried over here. Let's use an absinthe. Yeah, there we go. I love absinthe. All right. Yeah, so next time on, and I think at the end of the game, before we fight the final boss, we're going to, I'm going to show off a bit of the Johnsonpedia just in case for those wondering. I heard a phone, maybe. That was not mine. That's creepy. What if someone was outside my window? That's scary. I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't be recording any more of this. But next time on Shadows of the Damned, we're going to go ahead and infiltrate this underground area. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're closing in on the game, you guys. A couple more episodes and we're golden. Oh. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Ellison Cruz. Talk to you guys later.